Hey guys, this is Sean from Ride Apart. Here we have the 2013 Toyota Tacoma TRD Baja Edition. We, uh, we borrowed for a little project and we thought it was a good opportunity to show you guys how to load a bike into the back of a truck. A lot of people don't know how to do that. Uh, the first step you want to do, obviously, is you want to unload your, your ramp and your, your tie downs. You want to position the ramp so that one side will have a, a rubber kind of a lip that goes in the back of the truck. The other side will have a metal ramp. We like to use tie downs to secure to the back of the truck and then somewhere on that ramp so that that stays real secure. You can pull that tight um, and it keeps that from moving around if you're on uneven ground or it's just a good idea in general. The next step you want to do is just get, get your bike. Um, always use two people. If it's a bigger bike, use three or four. Once that weight kind of gets up higher than you're used to and it's up on a ramp or whatever it is, it really can be tough to manage. So don't get yourself in anything that's kind of more than you can handle. Um, we uh, like to have one person on front holding both, both sides of the handlebars and that front brake, keep the bike in neutral, the rear person back there just kind of as the, the driving force to push. Um, push it up as, as high as you can or high as you feel like you have uh, control the bike still. Then take hold of the, the front brake and let the person climb into the truck and kind of stable it from the front um, or from inside the truck. First person can push while that person pulls and gets it all the way to the truck. From there, you want to take your tie downs um, and secure it to both sides of the handlebar. Um, if you have a soft tie, that works really well because you can use those for any size handlebar. And you'll want to secure each side down to the, the brace points inside the truck um, and get those kind of just hand tight um, so they'll so the bike won't fall over without being, being too tight right away, um, otherwise they could be uneven. Then you want to have one person take both sides of the handlebars and really push down to compress the suspension while the other person pulls to kind of get that securely tight and making sure it's even on both sides. Uh, some people like to use the tie downs with the ratchet on them. Um, those you can actually compress too much and you can blow out your suspension if you hit a, a bump too hard or a pothole in the road. Um, we prefer to use the ones that you just pull by hand, that way there's no danger of damaging the suspension or uh, over tightening those. So once you have uh, the two front sides, um, and those are pulled tight as best as you can do, and it's even, um, not pulling one way to either side, then you want to go ahead and do the same on the back. Um, find somewhere high up, usually there's somewhere on the, if there's a hand, hand hold it for the rear passenger or somewhere on the frame you can do, but you want to get up high and, and mount that to um, the brace points in the truck as well, doing the same thing, getting those kind of just barely tight by hand um, on, until you have it on both sides and having someone push down and compress that suspension again while the other person pulls so that those are tight. Once you finish that and the bike is secure, kind of give it a good push, make sure that um, you know no matter what happens or if you go over a, a bump in the road or you hit a pothole or something, it's gonna, it's gonna stay tight. Um, then uh, just tie down the excess, excess fabric on those tie downs. Um, so that's not flapping around or hitting the sides of the truck or anything else. Um, just make sure that the ramp is secured, and with that, you're uh, you're good to go.